Temmie's Monsters When I was little, my friend Timmy came to play. Timmy can draw monsters. I can draw monsters too, but they're not as scary as Timmy's monsters. Timmy can roar like a monster. Roar! <laughs> I can roar like a monster too. <sighs> I like monsters. I like Timmy's monsters. Bulgy monsters, hairy monsters, blue monsters. <laughs> That's scary. And lots of red monsters. <laughs> we had fun stomping and roaring. I think if the monsters were a little quieter, they might have some juice. I love monsters. When it was time for Timmy to go home, he gave me lots of his monsters. Thank you, Timmy. I love Timmy's monsters. And night, night time. At night time, I put Timmy's monsters under my bed. At night, the monsters roared. Ra, ra, ra. The monsters woke me up. Oh, there are no monsters. They're just pictures, look. Mummy said the monsters were just pictures. No more monsters. <laughs> Mummy took Timmy's monsters away. Will they want to be cuddle? Good girl. And left the light on. I cuddled Willie. The next day, I wanted to play monsters. But Mummy had thrown the monsters in the bin. I asked Mummy for my monsters. Mummy, can I get my monsters? No, Tig, they're too noisy. Please. Mummy said the monsters were too noisy. They're just pictures, I said. Mummy said, OK. But no more roaring tonight in bed. I showed Willie my monsters. I didn't think Willie liked my monsters. No, Tig, I just don't like monsters at night. They wake me up. They wake us all up. Hmm. So, Tig, why don't we make your monsters just daytime monsters? Yeah! <laughs> One daytime monster. Now, at night, all the monsters need to go to bed. So we make the monster a nice comfy bed. <laughs> one comfy bed and one monster asleep. Night, night, monster. Sleep well. Night time came and all the monsters were put to bed. Night, night monsters. Look. Night, night monsters. Here they are all going to bed, all tucked up, ready to sleep. Mummy was about to sit on the bed when she nearly sat on Wooly. It gave her a surprise. What was that? <laughs> Your night, night, Mummy. Night, night, Wooly. That night we all slept happily. I like my daytime monsters. I love Wooly. We've been together since we were three. Shadows. When I was little, I didn't like the dark. Wooly didn't like the dark either. So Daddy bought me my very own light. The light came in a box. A lamp. A lamp. Oh, that looks lovely, Ty. Should we go and set it up? Yeah, why don't we go and plug it in in your bedroom? Let's see what your new lamp is. Daddy okay. plugged the light in. in your bed. Then we turn the light on. Turn it off. On. And then off again. Mummy, can I make something with the box? The box. I like the box that the light came in. Mummy said I could make something with the box. I made a puppet show. 
I painted inside the box. I didn't have puppets for my puppet show. When Mummy finished her work, she made me puppet birds. The birds were so sweet. She had little beaks and feather wings. Tug. The puppet birds could fly. Do you think they're friends? No, brother and sister. Oh, that's nice. At bedtime, I switched on my new light. Daddy and Mummy came to see my puppet show. Hey, little Jackie birds, sitting on the wall. The puppet show was all about two birds who sat on the wall. The birds flew away and then came back. Come back, Tweety. Daddy and Mummy liked the puppet show. I snuggled down with Wooly. And all your lights will stay on until you fall asleep. Mummy left my new light on. Mummy left the big light on too. Then I went to sleep. That night I woke up. All the lights were off, but my very own light was on. It glowed. I felt safe. But when I looked up at the ceiling, something was new. I saw hairy monsters. I hid under the bedclothes. I peeped out. The hairy monsters were still there. I wanted to run away. Hey, Tig, things can look scary at night because things can look different. The light and the dark play tricks. You just need to look again to find out what something really is. So I wonder what those hairy monsters could be. Let's peep. There's your new light. And look, just above the new light is your fluffy sheep mobile. And over there is... Oops, big hairy monsters. Round and round they go, just like the sheep. Because that's what the hairy monsters are. Just the shadows of fluffy sheep. So nothing scary, just shadows. You can make shadows too, Tig. You can make your very own shadow puppet show. Go for it, Tig. No more scaries. Yes, I thought. No monsters, just shadows. I'll have fun making my own shadow puppet show. Mummy and Daddy came to see what I was doing. When they saw a big hairy monster with eight legs, Walking across the ceiling, they went. <gasps> ah! There's a little guy spider on the wood. I like my new light. And what's this take? I like making shadow puppet shows. I love Willy. We've been scared since we were here. The hospital. When I was little, my daddy hurt himself and went to hospital. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye Mummy went to see Daddy. So I played with Angel. Well, he came too. Angel and me played dressing up. I put on a crown. Angel wheeled me around in my carriage. At night time, Daddy wasn't better. I slept in Mummy's bed. I wanted to see my Daddy. Me, when Daddy told me up. I liked the picture of Daddy lifting me up to touch the sky. Mummy took me to see Daddy in the hospital. What's that, Mum? That's an ambulance. I liked the hospital. The hospital was big. The hospital was busy. We squirted smelly stuff on our hands. Mummy said that in the hospital, everything had to be clean. Don't forget, Willie. There were lots of busy people. It was nearly lunchtime, but people were still in bed. What are those people doing, Mummy? They're all getting better. 
Mommy said the people were getting better. They didn't look very better to me. Some people were wheeled around in their beds. Looking for their pajamas, I thought. Daddy had a special room he lived in. Oh, hi. We're done now, so you can go in and see him. I wanted to see Daddy. I looked in the door. There was a man in the bed with a towel on his head. Hi there, Tig. He looks like a puppet Whoa. with strings. Go and say hello to Daddy, Tig. No, I said. That's not my Daddy. Hey, Tig. Hospitals are funny places, all topsy-turvy. They can make you feel all topsy-turvy too. <laughs> Daddy might not look like Daddy, but Daddy's still Daddy. Daddy looks different, that's all. Daddy hurt his leg, so he's wearing a plaster on his leg to make it better. But he's still Daddy. Daddy hurt his head, so he's wearing a bandage to make his head better. But he's still Daddy. Whee! Daddy looks like a puppet with tubes and things. Doodly doo doo, -doo did -do, do do. <laughs> but they are all there to make him better. You look different at angels when you dressed up like a king. Daddy's dressed up like a king too. So hey Tig, have fun with Daddy now he's a king with his crown and his own royal carriage. Whee! And then one day Daddy will be all better and lift you up to touch the sky again. Yes, I thought. I want to see my daddy with his white bandage crown and his puppet strings. Right. I'll tell you the funny story about what happened. Daddy told me the funny story of why he was in the hospital. <laughs> he tripped over running for a bus. And Silly daddy hasn't tied his laces. The blue nurse came in and found Willie on the bed. <laughs> it's only a size five, <laughs> <laughs> I like hospitals. I love my daddy. And I love Willie. We've been together since we were three. Fire alarm. When I was little, something exciting happened at my nursery school. It was nearly break time. I was helping Miss Claire. Willie helped too. There was a loud, loud noise. Come on, everyone, it's the fire alarm. Come on. Claire said it was the fire alarm. Come on, everyone, well done. I didn't like the horrid noise. Come on. It hurt my ears. Come along. We all need to leave, said Claire. Good, I thought, away from the nasty noise. Claire made sure we were all safe outside together. Bee ba, bee ba. A fire engine came round the corner. I liked the fire engine. The firefighters jumped out. They ran into the nursery. The firefighters wore hats. Don't worry, said Claire. The firefighters are just checking to see if there's a fire. Is everything OK? Yeah, nothing to worry about. Firefighter said, no fire, no worries. The firefighters didn't have a fire to put out. They showed us their fire engine. I like the firefighters. That's it. There you go. Wave bye bye to the firefighters. Bye bye, firefighters. There wasn't that exciting, said Claire. Come on. When we went back inside, everything looked just the same. We had our break. After 
to breathe. I didn't want a story. I didn't want to hear that nasty noise again. Yeah? Let's go. I asked Claire if I could go home. I didn't like the fire alarm. Hey Tig, fire alarms may sound scary, but fire alarms have to be loud so that everyone can hear them. Whee! They make all sorts of funny noises too. Dring! Woo 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 woo! Beep 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 beep! But fire alarms aren't there to worry us, they're there to make us safe. When the fire alarm sounds, it tells us to leave the building because there might be a fire. It also tells us it's working properly. Hooray! But hey, they don't go off that much. Dring! But when they do go off, we all have to leave the nursery together. So nothing to worry about. If the fire alarm sounds, you know what to do. Listen to that, Tig. More funny noises. Someone's playing fire engines. Whee! Go and have fun. Yes, I thought. Nothing to worry about. I want to play fire engines too. Beepa, beepa. <laughs> you ran about being fire engines. Beepa, beepa. My fire engine was going so fast that Wooly flew off in the air. And on your toy spider. I don't mind fire alarms. I like fire engines. I love Wooly. We've been scared since we were wee. She climbed into Funny the tummy. When I was little, I loved my nursery school. Willie liked my nursery school too. I liked my nursery teacher, Miss Claire. I liked all my friends. We liked playing together. I liked Hashim. Hashim was funny. Hashim got excited a lot. Hashim shouted a lot. She laughed a lot. One day, Hashim pushed me. I didn't like Hashim. I didn't like my nursery school. The next day on the way to nursery school, my tummy hurt. Daddy? Yeah? I have a sore tummy. Whereabouts? All right, come on, I think we should go home. Come on, then. Daddy took me home. The next day on the way to nursery school, my tummy hurt again. Daddy. Yeah. I've got the tummy. Shall we maybe go and try and see the doctor? Shall we go and see? Come on, then. Poor Tig. Tig Jameson, doctor will see you doctor, now. Thank you. Daddy took me to see the doctor. Hello, Tig. Come on in and have a seat. I liked going to the doctor. Now, what can we do for you today? I've got a sore tummy. Oh, dear. The doctor asked me about the pain in my tummy. The doctor said to lie down on a big bed. Just go to lift your top up like this and then have a wee feel of your tummy. The doctor felt my tummy. She listened to my inside. Let's have a wee listen and see what noises your tummy's making. Nothing to worry about, said the doctor. Tell me how you feel tomorrow. I like the doctor. She made my tummy better. Daddy said we can have a fun day together. Daddy took me to a park. Make sure Willie doesn't fly away. After the park, we went to a cafe. We were having fun. How's your sore tummy, said Daddy. Gone. I said, Doctor made it better. Good, said Daddy. Maybe you can go back to nursery school tomorrow. My tummy didn't feel very well again. Hey, Tig, it's not nice when your tummy feels funny. Maybe your tummy feels funny because things are not quite right inside your tummy. 
But maybe your tummy feels funny because something is worrying you outside. Hey Tig, something is worrying you outside, isn't it? Hashim, you're worrying about Hashim because he can be a bit rough sometimes. When you have a worry like that, you must tell someone. Tell Miss Claire. Tell Daddy. Sharing worries can help other people sort them out for you. Sharing worries will help your tummy feel a whole lot better again. Go for it, Tig. Share your worries and tell Daddy. Yes, I thought. I'll tell Daddy about Hashim. Hashim. Who's he? I'm here to buy my nursery. He pushed me. When I told Daddy about Hashim, my tummy didn't feel funny anymore. I told Claire about Hashim too. Yes, Tig? Hashim pushed me. Thank you very much for telling me, Tig. We'll speak about it later, OK? My tummy didn't hurt anymore. When I showed Willy to Hashim, it's only a toy spider. He ran away. I like my nursery school. I like Hashim. I love Willy. We've been together since we were three. Open wide. When I was little, my mummy took me to see the dentist. Willy came too. I made sure my teeth were really clean. Do you like going to the dentist? Yeah. yeah. Mummy said it was fun and the dentist was going to count my teeth. At the dentist, a nice lady sat behind a big desk. Hello, Tig, said the lady. That's the suckers that we've got, Tig. The lady said I would get a badge for having my teeth counted. We had to wait for the dentist. Lots of people were sitting on chairs. We sat next to a giggly lady. Can you show me how you brush your teeth? I showed the giggly lady how I cleaned my teeth. Very good indeed. Oh, that's good. Mrs Kraken, do you want to come through? Oh. A lady asked Mrs Giggly, Come this way, please. Bye-bye, Mrs Giggly. Bye. One, two, three. In the corner of the room was a play shop. Me and some children played play shop. Four, five. I did lots of counting. Hi, Tig, it's your turn now. I like the dentist. Her name was Rita. I've got some juice here that you need to gargle around your mouth and you spit in the bowl. So that washes your tooth and that dries your tooth. Rita showed me lots and lots of things. Things I'd never seen before. There's a slurpy sucker. A water shooter. Oh! Sunglasses. A polisher. It's a special, special fast electric toothbrush. It's a special electric toothbrush. Isn't that good? But best of all was the chair. And then right up into the sky. The chair could go up and down and back and forward like a ride at the fun fair. Right, I'm going to count your teeth now. This is my tooth counter for counting your teeth. Open wide. Please. I shut my mouth. I didn't like the tooth counter. In a minute, she said. Rita chattered and clattered. Hey, Tig, there's nothing wrong with the tooth counter. It's just a magic wand to help Rita with her counting. You'll never know how many teeth you have until you open your mouth. Opening your mouth is as easy as yawning. <sighs> Opening your mouth is as easy as eating a plum. Opening your mouth is as easy as laughing. I said, 
I'm just going to put my visor on. Okay, Tig. Open wide for me and we can count these teeth. Open wide, said Rita. Rita counted my teeth with her magic Whee! wand. 15, 17, 18, 19, 20. You've got 20 teeth in there. <gasps> it's only a toy spider. Now you get your sticker. Whee! But you're all done? She was very brave. The lady at the desk gave me my badge. And Willie has a sticker. Of course he can. Oh. There you go. Well done. I wanted a badge for Willie too. I like the dentist. Willie likes the dentist too. I love Willie.